Hi, I'm Rodney Miller. And I'm Jan Carl. Thanks for choosing to watch this clip from our Small Town Big Deal YouTube channel. For full episodes, go to our website, smalltownbigdeal.com. And subscribe to our YouTube channel to find all kinds of great clips. Now enjoy the video. This house is a miracle. Our home. Located on a quiet cul-de-sac in the central Oregon city of Bend, there is a house filled with laughter. This is called the Flying Squirrel. <laughs> It's a place where single mom Sherry Tran and her three kids, Eli, Lalana, and Asher, can finally feel safe and secure. So the environment that your kids are growing up in is much better. Yes, much, much, much better. That's <laughs> three muches. Yes, <laughs> much, much, much better. I don't have to like, you know, wake up in the middle of the night wondering what's going on sure. outside. That all changed for the Tran clan when Sherry applied and was selected for a unique program offered by Hayden Homes and its not-for-profit partner, First Story. You know, what is First Story? We help families that couldn't otherwise own a home own their own home. So uh, let me get this straight. You don't charge any interest and no down payment, and no. you lower the requirements to 50 to 70 percent of normal requirements? Correct. Wow. wow. Yeah, so. Okay, that's unheard of. <laughs> I tell you what, if more companies followed their example, we'd be a lot better off. Homes are sold at market value, with payments ranging from $450 to $700 a month. It makes a huge difference. Families that are ready and have been working hard, and now they get the chance. What was that day like when you found out you were going to get? Yeah, I want to hear this. <laughs> <laughs> I just screamed and I ran downstairs to the kids. I was jumping up and down. I was just screaming. We all started screaming. We all started dancing around. And we were just all over the place. And when you're around Sherry and her children, you get a strong sense of how much joy exists in that home. And you know what? It rubs off on you, too. My oldest son, he always knew. He was like, when do we get the house? I, he was positive. He, was, he, knew. he knew. He was like, oh, we're going to get the house. It's not if, it's when we're going to get the house. We're so getting the house. That's, That's the this attitude. This one happens all the time. In the post-war years, buying a home was well within reach for most families, and it was key to the expansion of the great middle class and to the prosperity that came with it. But how things have changed. In fact, 2015 marked the lowest home ownership rate in the U.S. since 1967. That's a trend First Story is trying to reverse one family at a time. It's not really just our opportunity, but it's our privilege and it's almost, almost our responsibility to give back. Scott Knox, First Story's chairman, says paying it forward is one of the company's long-standing core values. It, it really just, was just called the abundance philosophy. As we get abundance, we sort of owe it to pay it forward and have abundance for everyone else. So now we get to actually help in some of the construction. Hayden Homes president Steve Klingman says it takes a total team effort. We feel like we're a part of the community and, and affordable housing, home ownership. It's, uh, it's the American dream. Tradesmen and suppliers all donate their time and material to offset the cost of building first story homes. We have our trade partners and our suppliers and our vendors, the people that supply us the materials and the trades that help build our homes. We're all in this together. And then walk it up. Yeah. Hey, hey, hey. I always say thank you is just not enough. The amount of community you feel from everyone that came, whether it be donating windows or insulation or just the finishings or just their time to build, just so a family can feel yeah. secure. To me, home means here and Everywhere around me in this house is a safe place. It's your first story in a new home. And for, for us, it's creating opportunities for people to really thrive. I mean, you remember what it's like to grow up in the home. Holidays in your home and gathering around the table or grabbing around the fireplace. Those are things that I cherish from my childhood. Our team members cherish, and we want to provide that opportunity to as many people as we can. To me, home means wherever my family is, but it's really nice to have a place where I can be with them a lot. <laughs> They feel stable, they feel consistent with something, and um, just, you know, have two feet on the ground. This has got to feel good. Can you describe yeah. the feelings that you get when you, you hand off those keys to a family? It doesn't get old, I and mean, it gets, you can see, probably a little emotional every time. Um, yeah. It's just really special. You just know the difference. 
that you're making in a family's life, and they're not going to get another chance if we're not here. So that's why we come to work every day. How has it changed your life? The amount of stuff we do together, because I don't have that stress of, oh, we have to move again, and no, we can't put that up on the wall, that's just, you know, we're going to mm -hmm. damage the property, and, you know, not having to worry about those kind of things just made it us become more of a family, just having more opportunities to do stuff together, <laughs> and it, it's really been so powerful, I mean, just amazing. Thanks for watching this clip from Small Town Big Deal. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and be sure to click the bell so you'll be notified when we upload new videos. Also, click the like button. To see full episodes, go to www.smalltownbigdeal.com.